Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. This video is all about the first year subject that is Introduction to AI and Applications with the code 1BAIA103 bar 203. Here we are seeing the content of this subject for the first year engineering students of VTU. If you look at the BE scheme and syllabus of VTU, they made some changes in the 2025 scheme and syllabus. You can visit my previous video where I have shown what are all the subjects present in chemistry cycle and physics cycle. Now, if you look at the chemistry cycle, there is a subject called introduction to AI and applications with the code 1BAAI103 or 203 if it is appear in the second semester. And also we have a code here BETC105X and this subject will be taken by any department faculty and this subject carries uh, three theory hours per week and this is having three credits. This is a three credit subject and total marks will be 100 that is splitted as CIE for 50 and SE 50. So now introduction to AI and applications is part of chemistry group. So if you are in first semester and you are in chemistry group, you will be studying this in first semester itself. Then you will be entering into the second semester that is uh, C cycle, chemistry cycle. Then you will be studying this subject. It means this is a part of a chemistry group subject where you will be understanding what is AI and applications. Let's get in into the syllabus copy of this and see what are all the content present. Introduction to AI and applications. This is the subject code. There are, there are three lecture hours per week. There are no other practical sessions. Total 40 hours will be taken in one semester. And the total credits you are going to earn will be three. This is CIE, SE marks and total marks is 100 and exam hours is three hours. This is the course outcome of the subject. Means end of the course student will be able to explain the concepts on different types of AI, illustrate basic, basic machine learning methods for regression, classification and clustering, identify real world applications across different disciplines and students will be able to make use of prompt engineering techniques and to interact with generative AI models and outline recent trends in artificial intelligence and machine learning. These are the five uh, course outcomes we have and at the end of the course means after studying this subject you will be able to do all these that is what this subject says coming to module one what is there in the first module in the first module we have introduction to artificial intelligence starting from the definition of artificial intelligence how does it work how actually ai works and what are all the advantages and the disadvantages of ai we face and what is the history of ai types of ai Weak AI and strong AI, reactive uh, machines, limited memory, theory of mind, self-awareness. Is AI intelligence um, same as argumental in intelligence and what is cognitive computing, machine learning and deep learning. This is what all the basic requirement to understand AI. That's why they kept it in the first chapter. The second chapter is machine intelligence. Here defining intelligence, components of intelligence, difference between human and machine intelligence. What is agent, environment, search and uninformed search algorithm, informed search algorithms. So all those present in the second chapter of first module. Here knowledge representation is the third chapter. Introduction, what is knowledge representation? Knowledge based agent, types of knowledge. This is the complete first chapter content is. Here they have given the textbook also as reference. Textbook 1 you need to go through with chapter 1. 1.1 to 1.5 and chapter 3, 3.1 to 3.7.2, chapter 4, 4.1 to 4.4. This covers the entire first module. The total number of teaching hours is 8 hours required to complete this module. So that is module 1. In module 2, we enter into introduction to prompt engineering. So nowadays prompting is very important to handle any of the AI tools to get the desired results. So prompt engineering and the prompts what we are going to give to the uh, AI tool is important. So they have introduced you into prompt engineering, introduction to prompt engineering, then evaluation of prompt engineering, types of prompts we have, how does this prompt engineering work, comprehending prompt engineers function in communication, the advantages of prompt engineering, future of LLM communication. This is chapter one. Chapter two is prompt engineering techniques for chart GPT, especially for chart GPT. They have given what are all the techniques uh, for prompt engineering. Introduction to prompt engineering techniques, instruction prompt technique, 0, 1 and few short uh, prompting, self-consistency prompt. 
and then prompts for creative thinking introduction unlocking imagination and innovation prompts for effective writing introduction igniting the writing process with prompts so this is a very interesting module where you will be understanding how prompts are going to work in ai tools like chat gpt here in the chapter 2 it is specifically for chat gpt they have given and you will understand all the prompt engineering concepts basics here coming to module 3 module 3 is machine learning here we will be uh, let assume we will be deep dive into how the machine learning things work techniques in ai machine learning model uh, regression analysis in machine learning classification techniques clustering techniques navy bias classification neural network support vector machine so this svm all these are belong to machine learning techniques how we are going to train machines to understand the data how the data classification and clustering happens over here this is bit one step uh, into the machine learning and ai then chapter 4 chapter 4 is trends in ai what is the current trend in ai ai and ethical concerns we have with respect to ai ai as service ai aas recent trends in ai again and expert system internet of things that is iot how we will be utilizing iot with ai then artificial intelligence of things that is aiot with ai we will be having iot concepts this is again textbook chapter 8 uh, means all the most of the concepts here will be from textbook 1 and this uh, prompt engineering will be from textbook 2 you can see here clearly and below we will be having textbook details as well we can go through that so all these modules are covering in 8 hours then we will be having module 5 module 5 is robotics Ro related to robotics we have one module here robotics robotics in ai again application of ai is in robotics drones using ai how we will be constructing drones and what is the idea behind that no code ai how without any coding we can build an ai like that i guess then low code ai this is about the robotics and other applications of ai as well then we have another chapter here that is industrial applications of ai how this ai is used in industries different industries let's say application of ai in healthcare how ai will be useful in health sector application of ai in finance application of ai in retail application of ai in agriculture education transportation experimentation and multidisciplinary research how it will be helpful this is module 5 so if you look at all five modules it will start from ai and ml and uh, here you will be understanding even the prompt engineering then deep dive into uh, one step down into machine learning and then trends in ai you will understand what is the current trend and how actually you can grow up as a ai engineer then robotics things related to ai again and uh, different applications with respect to different fields of artificial intelligence the subject textbooks for this subject the textbook what they are suggesting is Uh, this is the first subject uh, textbook they are referring to this textbook covers module 4 module 3 as well as module 1 and uh, module 2 and module 5 cover cover by the second and the third textbooks so you need to have all these three textbooks to learn this subject there are reference textbook also they have given here and some manuals you can refer these for more information and there are some web links and video lectures they have given here elements of ai and uh, introduction to ai with python i guess all these are supportive lectures they are not directly related to the subject but you will gain more knowledge by understanding the different things related to ai through these video lectures and also teaching learning process they have given they can use flipped classroom they can use problem based learning we call it as pbl case based teaching simulation and virtual labs they can take into and ict uh, enabled teaching tools they can use and tool demonstration also they can do this is up to the uh, lecture uh, hours and the plan how your teacher is going to do and then the assessment structure also they have given how the cie marks and the sce marks will be together taken as 100 marks you can go through this and continuous comprehensive assessment caa also given here there is a learning activity practical assessment on creating effective prompts is given here for 25 marks and also they have given some instructions how you can do this students must demonstrate the solutions to the course instructor and submit the record containing prompt creation procedure and prompt execution procedure and results with observations 
and the course instructors instructor must evaluate the students performance as per their as per the rubrics this is what uh, the activity present within the subject itself we need to carry out this and also they have given the activity on creating effective prompts here uh, there are uh, you can observe here there are multiple prompts and the things related to that is given uh, there are totally 11 prompts they have given and also they have given the co po mapping further okay this is not required much so up to here you need to go through this since it is a activity based subject you can also do this activity by taking any of these i guess or you will subject teacher will assign one of the activity to you and you need to do the activity and you need to submit the report to the instructor this is all about introduction to ai and applications this is a very good subject introduced by vtu for first year students so that you will get understand how actually ai will be there with us and also how we are going to utilize that in a uh, right manner and also somewhere here i have seen we will be having negatives and disadvantages of ai also so that it will be educating the students in such a way that they should use it in a right manner this is all about the subject and please find all the subjects of vtu in my channel please subscribe to explore electronics and explore vlsi thank you